Yo, what up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to be covering two very important peptides that come in a blend. They work synergistically together, and I believe they should always be researched together. This is the video that everybody's been asking for. We're going to be covering BPC-157 and TB-500, otherwise known as thymosin beta-4. We're going to go over benefits, we're going to go over dosage, mixing, and even injection. So if you guys are interested in researching these peptides and getting maximum benefits, then you're going to want to stick around from the beginning to the end because we're going to be covering very important topics and have the exact protocols. With that being said, let's just jump into it. So today's protocols, let's just say you go to an anti-aging doctor or a physician, what they would go off give you the protocol for these peptides is they go off your age, they go off your physical health, and that if you're going into surgery or if you just had surgery. That's from a clinical standpoint. The information that I'm providing or the protocols that I'm providing in this video today are going to be strictly educational but accurate. Whenever you're doing these peptides, just so you know, you always research them in equal parts. That's why they come in a blend. You're doing 500 micrograms uh, BPC-157, then you're going to do 500 micrograms of TB-500. Should this peptide be injected locally? So let's say you injure your ankle. If you try to inject a peptides down by your ankle, there's going to be very, very limited blood supply. So it's going to be a waste of money and a waste of peptides because these peptides work systemically, which means they go through the bloodstream and will attack or target the inflamed area, but they need blood flow to get there. So the top of your glute, the stomach area, these are the places that are going to allow the peptide to reach the inflamed area and help with the injury the quickest. All right, so this is the five by five vial. Same protocol as CJC-1295 and Impermerillin blend at the 5x5. So now let's jump into the peptide calculators so that way you guys can do the correct protocol, dosage, and mixing at home. Okay, let's get into it. The peptidecalc.com no longer works, so you guys can go to peptides.org. This is going to be your peptide dosage calculator. So the first thing that we want to do is go to 1 ml or 100 units. That's going to be the syringe that we're going to be using today. I know that this blend is still only 5 milligrams. It is two different compounds and the vial does say 10 milligrams, but at the end of the day to get accurate dosage and mixing, we're just going to keep 5 milligrams. I need 2 ml. With that, you guys can research anywhere from 500 micrograms to 1000 micrograms a day. If we go to 500 at the 20 mark. If you guys want 1,000 micrograms after a surgery or a couple days before, you can go to the 40 mark. That's going to be 1,000 micrograms. So that was the peptide calculator. You guys can do 500 micrograms a day to 1,000 micrograms a day, depending on what you're researching these peptides for. Same thing. If you guys are going to be researching these uh, vials individually of TV 500 and BPC 157, if it's the 5 milligram, still put in the 2 ml. And just if you extract to the 20 mark, that's going to be 500 micrograms. And if you extract to the 40 mark, that's going to be 1,000 micrograms if you're researching them individually. Just a reminder, always research them in equal parts. So 500 and 500, 1,000 and 1,000. Going into surgery, 1,000 micrograms a few days before surgery. And then you can do 1,000 micrograms two to three weeks every single day after your surgery. After that two to three weeks, you can start to taper down and start to do six days a week, 500 micrograms. But you can research that for another two weeks to a month. If it's really bad and you're still taking a little bit longer to heal, 60 days is usually the sweet spot. Tendons and muscles heal a lot quicker than ligaments. Ligaments really don't have much blood supply. So when you do inject, because of the very poor blood supply, it does take longer. Studies have shown TB500 is actually supposed to help with enlarging the hair follicle, allowing for thicker, fuller hair. Hair, nice hair. Gut health, skin health, total repair of cells, muscle strengthening, reduced risk of injury, enhanced immune system, liver protection, muscle and tissue growth, 
increase endurance, increase strength, reduce inflammation, accelerate post-injury, very important, wound healing, slow progression of disease. Slows progression of disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, all these things we're finding out is all due to inflammation. So these peptides help with inflammation. So maybe in the future, who knows, we'll be able to find out if they really do help with the slowing progression of cancer and cancer cells. Peptides are incredible, just amino acids. Let's say you want the anti-aging benefits. Let's say you want the muscle growth. Let's just say you want overall inflammation to go down. You can do 500 micrograms every day for up to 30 days, even a little bit longer if you want. But it's all working on a cellular level with inflammation. After 30 days of 500 micrograms, you could take time off and then you can start this back up again. That's gonna be better for your wallet anyways, because this blend, is very expensive. I know people take the oral of BPC-157 pretty much daily. BPC-157 can be taken orally, but unfortunately TB-500 can only be done subcutaneously. If you guys are interested in researching other peptides, you can definitely check out my channel. I have CJC IPA, Tessa Morellin, and also GHKCU on there. Um, some very important protocols. That was BPC-157, Body Protective Compound, and TB-500, otherwise known as Thymosin Beta-4. If this video has provided value for you guys today, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.